Thor News is the record holder for Stellar Cool. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Party dance time. Thor News presents. Hello and welcome to my very special Thor's birthday. Signs in the heaven, earth and space weather. And do I have a potluck cornucopia basket of eye candy goodness for you. We got cuckoo crazy comets, crowning constellations, quarter moons, and places in the east where it feels like June. Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's true. All right. Now, I know things have been really shitty and getting shittier for about 15 years. But maybe everyone's like at a point where like, you know what? We've been trying variations of this for thousands of years. And none of this shit is working. Why don't we all agree to do everything the best way possible? That sounds crazy. I know. I only pray I'm not making you frown at home. Because I'm with you now. You are not alone. You may be asking yourself, Thor, have you been drinking? And the answer is yes. I've been drinking the liquid of, wow, I'm still alive after all these years. After all these adventures, I'm still alive. And so are you. And that is a good sign. Just like these beautiful signs in the heavens that we are looking at. I see size, shape, and color. And that is good. Just like me and you. All right. Yeah, this may not be my best video ever. That's okay. It's my birthday. It's like, what did you want to do for your birthday? It's like, I think I'll make a video. I get a potluck and uh, just say thanks to everybody out there for all that you do. Because I wouldn't be me without you. All right. So what are you doing? At over on spaceweather.com, we are starting out December 19th, 2.22 a.m. Chin Chin, who is seeing the Orion Nebula. Orion is a badass. Did I ever tell you about the day he fell to Earth? Boom. He's wearing a cape. The phoenix on his chest. That's cool. All right, so let me use some real sciencey words. Oh, my girls, the Pleiades sisters. There she is. Mrs. Universe. That's a good joke, maybe no. May I please at least make one person smile today? Yay. Yay. Oh, this is weird, man. Like, I'm so happy to just be alive. My funny button is busted. You know what I'm saying? Like, whoa. I hope I get to say the same thing next year. I hope you do too. It's real touch and go out there, you know. It's like life has become a crowded freeway where everybody's doing 85 miles an hour, looking down, writing some really long emotional text while it's raining with a little bit of sleet ice. Looks like there could be a major collision, you know. You know, I'm amazed that it's all still holding together. I don't know. So, yeah, noctilucent clouds, comets. There's a pan stars in there. There always is. And the auroras have been. Utterly spectacular. Hey, is anybody out there make a fantastic eggnog product? I would endorse you. It's gotta be good, though. Oh, look. This episode includes Nacreous Clouds. What? Alrighty. Let's bolster our vocabulary today. Nacreous. Sounds like it means oily. Possessing the qualities of, consisting of, or abounding in nacre. Also, iridescent. What the hell's nacre? Is that like a naked acre? Or is that like a Null Acre. Mother of Pearl. Oh, I like that. I do. Iridescent. Iridescent. That must be an Irish word. Showing luminous colors that seem to change when seen from different angles. Uh oh. Or magic. There you go. I made you smarter and then killed some of your brain cells. Same time. And you know what's so cool about 2015? That is way cooler than like year 113? Is our photographs are way better now. Because now you can photograph a comet in a galaxy. You couldn't do that shit back then. And if you could, well, they burned everything in history in the Library of Alexandria. And then they reset everything and then rewrote everything. And like, we're only on year 333 or something, or year 756. And they've been telling you it's like year 2000. It's like, hell no. Man, that was a great. They should make an action movie about that. Or whatever. Man, somebody broke my bunny. If you could steal senses of humor, Goldman Sachs would be hilarious. I don't even know what that means. No disrespect, Goldman. It's a circumzenthial arc. Yeah. Oh, it's a circumzenith arc. That means it's flip-flop upside down from the pinnacle of your north, I guess. I don't know. I don't look that stupid work it up, too. Uh, also called Braveus arc. This is an optical phenomenon. Similar in appearance to rainbow, but it belongs to the family of halos, arising from a refraction of sunlight through ice crystals. Wow. Ice crystals are like new and improved swamp gas. Ice crystals, get your ice crystals, two for five, three for ten. Man, 
I know what you're thinking right now. You're like, this is the worst birthday party ever. Yeah, well, how about I bring on my next guest? The son, who for my birthday party is bringing two coronal mass ejections, a glancing blow, and a bullseye, which would mean odd weather, strange behavior, emotional swings, awesome auroras, animals getting jiggy with it, random acts of kindness, and strange sky sights. This you can bank on. Oh, hey, and I was finally wrong. I heard the Federal Reserve raised interest rates 0.25%. Woohoo! <laughs> All right. I don't mind being wrong. Every once in a while. Comet, US 10 Catalina. Look at that comet go. Why is it named US? US? I don't know. It's like a giant meatball. Comets are just dirty cat dragon duck snow dragon meatballs. That's science for you. This is the PMC. That's life. Beautiful. But it's best to have a lifeguard handy. Life. What are, the, what are those called? Life preserver? It's good to have a life preserver nearby. And have you looked up in the sky lately? I've been like, wow, what the heck are those? To me, they are unknown. Are they iridescent clouds? Are they polar stratospheric clouds? Are they polar stratospheric meteor smoke from the Gemini shower clouds? Or are they PMC? Well, I don't know. They're crazy clouds. Those clouds are high, man. Those clouds are high. All right. You may think I'm entertaining. Just because I say stuff like that looks just like an alien horse head. But I guarantee you. Ooh, I love it when this guy creates straight lines. Whoa. I see a city in the sky. Oh, sweet city. I want to be in you. But you're too high. Sweet, sweet city in the sky. I want to be inside you, baby. You're too high. That's crazy face, no? Man, this is just a ramble fest. But what's new, right? Right. It's like a giant butterfly helmet descending upon my mind, leaving me to wax ecstatic all the time. Sure are a lot of nacreous clouds. All right. Peace out. God bless everybody.